Lastly, let's consider graphing space curves. Consider the vector equation given by r of t equals 1 minus t times r0 plus t r1. Where r0 is the vector given by 0, 0, 0, that's a 0 vector, and r1 is given by 2, 5, 10. 1 minus t is just a scalar, t is a scalar, and so by properties of scalar multiplication and vector addition, this equation for r of t simplifies to 2t, 5t, and 10t as t goes from 0 to 1. That will get us from the 0 vector, or the origin, out to the point 2, 5, 10. Hit shift enter, and sure enough, there's the line segment. Now, let's explore a parametric plot with a trigonometric function. There are two important notes that we should observe. First of all, trig functions must be capitalized. Use capital S for sine, not a lowercase s for sine. Secondly, the argument must be placed in square brackets, not parentheses. So use sine square bracket x instead of sine parentheses x. Here's an example. Let's hit shift enter. This gives us a space curve and again we can click on this curve and we can rotate it around to get a better look at how the curve looks. Your task is to reproduce figure 7 from page 851 of the ebook.